Hi there, it's day 12 of Yogtober. We're approaching that halfway point, so I hope that makes you feel good. And just let me know if you are doing this with me, how you're feeling. Uh, have you noticed if you're doing it in the morning, it sets you up with good energy for the rest of the day? Or are you a bit tired? You know, um, it is kind of a commitment, this it is a, a commitment. Anyway, I hope it's making you feel really good. Let's start on hands and knees. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees under the hips, and we'll just do the cat cows. Hopefully the sound of the sea in the background is quite nice when I'm not talking. <laughs> if I shut up for long enough for you to actually hear the sea, that should be nice and relaxing. Good. Okay, now this next one, I'm just not gonna say anything about this. I'm just gonna show you what to do, but no jokes, please. So just lift up your left leg, flex the foot. So from the outside, from the other side, it looks like that. So really squeeze the glutes and then take, keep that bend in the knee in the flexing of the foot and then bring the knee right round to the front and back down to the center again. We're gonna do that three times one way and three times the other way. So I'm just gonna say nothing about this one. <laughs> okay, it's all the way out to the side. So if you imagine your ball and socket joint of your hip, let's go the other way. It's quite hard to make your brain work the other way, like I find. Go right round the other way. It's not the most glamorous of moves, but it's excellent for hip mobility. Okay, let's do the other side. So the knee comes up to 90 degrees, squeeze the glutes, flex the foot, all the way out to the side, towards the elbow and back up again, three one way, three the other, but keep the arms strong. That's it, right out, so you're just going, imagining that ball and socket joint and going right the way around the ball. That's it. Good. That's brilliant. And then tuck your toes under and come into the downward facing dog. Ah, pedal out the, the knees. So one knee bending, the other knee bending. Just let the head fall down towards the mat. No tension. And we're going to send the right leg up into the air and keep going all the way around. So the same thing again, around that ball and socket joint, three times one way three times the other way, nice and slowly. Don't rush it. And just keep loyal to all the other sort of parts of this position. So your chest comes down towards the leg. The arms are straight and strong. That's it. And let's try the other side. All the way up first, round. All the way out to the side. And the other way. Excellent. And down. Just rest. Like on the knees. And opening the knees. Sit back on the heels. Stretch forward in the, in the child's pose. Taking some deep breaths there. And then pressing into the hands. Let's do a cheeky puppy. So just come back a little bit on the on the mat and bow forwards with the, the chin in the chest. Good. Let's just open up our shoulders a little bit. So taking the right arm up, thread three times. Nice breathe, breathing with each move. So like one move one breath it doesn't matter really which but it'll feel right to you inhaling exhaling stay down on that third one let me bring this left hand right the way round or to the top even to the side okay let's try the other side opening up the shoulders on the other side opening out thread three times Nice and slowly, nice and controlled. Definitely a chilly kind of edge to the weather today. It's 
starting to feel autumn creeping in but let's on the third one stay down and you just hold in that position of your choice okay push down through the ground come up and we're just going to now come into plank tuck the toes under hips nice and low so make sure you're not doing the dog by accident hips nice and low push back through the heels solid strong core and just look beyond the mat well done keep holding that position until you're kind of shaking a little bit if you're shaking that means you're doing it right then just push more strength through the arms if you feel like you're wobbling just push, push that little bit more energy in and good downward dog Excellent. Okay, I'm just coming in now after we've had that little downward dog. Well, we'll have a bit more of a break in the downward dog. Pedaling out the legs. And now, side plank. So um, just come all the way onto the left side first. Try and get your feet either one in front of the other or one on top. And let's see if we can do some little lifts. So try for six. Three, four, Six and hold in like a star shape. Good. And let's try that other side. So straight away, straight in. So just start off getting that position like that first. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and hold. Okay come down to the knees and the hands and just do a couple of these cat cows rounding and dipping Tuck the toes under and then just downward dog pad back with your hands pad back pad back and just slowly slowly roll up Roll the shoulders a few times, back and forward. Perhaps even bringing the fingers to the shoulders and do big circles with the elbows. Three one way, three the other way. Nice. And then just make a like a knuckle package behind your back and sort of bring the knuckles to the side of the waist, the left side squeeze the elbows behind you together and just um, move your head away to the opposite side so if you've moved your hands to the left your head goes to the right a couple of breaths there keeping relaxed no tension okay nice deep breaths and again move this knuckle package to the other side waistline lot of nips squeeze the elbows in tip the head over to the left. Deep breaths. Cool. Well done. And just let's bend the knees. Get the arms in that same sort of uh, knuckle position. And just lift your arms overhead. And straighten out the legs if it feels okay. And a little bit of movement's absolutely fine. Swaying the arms and the shoulders one way and then the other and then come up good so let's come to the top of the mat hands at the middle and just tip into your warrior three so we're just going to go tipping forwards in the warrior three flexing that foot dropping the hip so make sure both hips are level with the mat that's it and then back up other side straight away nice simple one so taking all of the weight into the right side the left leg lifts flexing at the foot leveling off that hip good and now we're just going to do warrior one so just bring so if you want to just start with your hands um, at your chest right leg back first and drop the, the foot at the back so that's the heels down 
and then just bend and strain a couple of times and your body's wanting to come out to the side but try and train it to go to the front lovely hands again in that linked position slide down towards the back heel just to start with opening up the collarbones and the chest and then bow forwards in that same position shoulder comes in near the knee and see if you can go all the way down towards the ground good coming back up and out of that let's open out to the warrior two so with this one your foot the back foot's just pointing straight forward now and the left foot's pointing away bend and straighten and then just stay nice and bent so you're looking at over the fingertips not letting yourself tip forwards breathe and then just take your hand either to the knee or to the ground for a side angle making sure your top shoulder's nicely on top of the bottom shoulder reaching over if you want to get that lovely alignment of from the edge of the foot right to the fingertips come back and just bring that back leg in it's driving back land the foot warrior one on the other side so we're just going to bring uh, your hands down towards the heel opening up your chest swooping downwards all the way towards the ground as you, your arms come up overhead pushing your feet back and we're just going to open outward towards the warrior two position switch sides so we're looking out over the fingers in the opposite direction now move the head back move the hips slightly forwards don't forget you can move a little bit in it bending and straightening let's stay there and drop it to the ground or to the knee if the ground is too far today get that alignment of the arms like a straight pencil and then try one with your arm up and over good all the way up and back so we're gonna do the half moon now one we haven't done in this series anyway so half moon you start with sort of nice bent knees like this and we're taking it over to the right first so my hand's just going to come about a foot away from my foot at a diagonal hand to the hip and just uh, notice that my knee is bent here the right knee i'm going to very sorry out to the side like karate sort of style i'm kicking out to the side foot flexed and and slowly you can straighten that standing leg and if it feels okay lift the top arm so really flexing opening out to the side like a karate kick excellent half moon and if you wanted to tra practice the balance aspect just bring in when you're ready your hands to the middle and that takes a little bit of uh, concentration so just see if you can hold the gaze at something and just bring the hands in whoa an even surface definitely helps as well so let's try that on the other side so nice squat position left hand comes down hand to the hip slowly kicking out to the side flexing that foot nice and straight lift up the arm here we go oopsies that's it so the half moon and then the balance Whoop. have a few attempts if you're wobbling yay and then just relax Woohoo! i think we'll feel that in the hips tomorrow okay how are we doing for time okay let's just come down to the ground and I feel like we need to do a twist. So just sit cross-legged, just holding onto your uh, shin to pull yourself up to straight. Once you've got that lovely straight spine, take it over to the right. One hand on the knee, one hand on the ground, and breathe there. Simple, easy twist. Nice one, and then the other way. Pad forwards and just stretch out your lower back drop the head and finally put your hands near fingers pointing towards your body and just pop onto the, uh, the knees just have to 
three deep breaths together. And a cheeky head roll. Challenge completed for the day. Well done. Namaste. See you tomorrow.